Is there any chance you're not going to speak like this for the next well, three days? No, I mean, that's the thing. You get into it, and I'll tell you what, if you get out, it is tough to get back in, so you better just fucking strap in and <laughs> get ready. Here we go. Here we go. And right next to Boston Connor, obviously everybody sees who we see, a man who had a moment last year that'll go down in the annals of internet happenings. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Mad Mel Kuyper. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Pat. Great to be back, AJ. Great to see you. Good to see you're still a sack of shit like you were last year. Uh, <laughs> listen, everybody's expected, you know, some kind of fireworks like last year. But uh, to be honest with you, I'm about as pissed as I was last year already. Uh, let's see what the Packers and everybody else does tonight to uh, maybe send me over the edge. Who knows, Pat? Okay, thank you, Mad Mel. It is great to see you. What are your thoughts on this whole thing? And were you surprised by today at all, or did you kind of know? No, I'm, I was definitely surprised by today. I did not know whether you believe me or not. Yeah, I'm kind bullshit, of like you to where I don't really want bullshit. to know. Yeah, you're full yeah, of shit. Full shit. Yeah, Everybody yeah, knows yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, right. Come clean. Ty, I love the fact that Ty whoa, has whoa. to insult me as Mel. That's no, my no. favorite part for four straight hours. No, that's not Ty. Ty's not here. Ty's, Ty's not, not here tonight, nope. AJ. I thought you'd know that. Ty actually it's, went on his bachelor party. Yeah. That's right. Ty went on his bachelor party. Mad Mel's here for the night, actually. Is that is that Mad Mel's real hair? I mean, that's unbelievable volume he has. Well, you know, like I said, uh, it's it's been a process for quite some time. Uh, I was gonna get a haircut not too long ago. Thought, well, you know what, gotta look my good, gotta look my best for draft night. So yeah, this is my real hair. Uh, took about an hour, an hour and a half, hour and forty five to get it ready for tonight. So uh, I'm 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 pretty impressed with it. I think it looks pretty good. Mad Mel, I am so thankful you're back. But AJ, you're not doing this all night, pal. Okay. But this. In your eyes, Mad Mel, has been something that's been brewing. And it's like almost expected. And it seems to be insane that the reigning MVP is going to be moved. But it feels like it is at this point with Green Bay leaking that. And then him potentially feeling some type of way. This is ugly over there. In Green yeah, Bay. it's a done deal. Rodgers is out of town. They really screwed the fucking pooch on this one. Like I said, you know, I mean, I think Aaron and, uh, and LaFleur have a good relationship. His issue lies with the two fucking Judases who are in the front office. Oh. They've sold him down the river oh. many of time uh if you're rogers you know why not go back home play for your childhood team i'd want to play for the fucking 49ers maybe they'll do something to help you out and try to you know maximize your potential green bay sure as shit isn't doing it hey chris i, I i'm not sure if you know uh mad mel kuiper has a question for you he was looking forward to this who, who the hell is mad mel oh. who the hell is mad mel oh. Oh. Well, wow. it's, it's, i mean really oh. there's this we ain't even got the draft started i mean has the guy ever wore a jock strap? I mean, don't you have to wear listen, a jock listen, strap? Listen, Chris, hey, I've never worn a jock strap, Mad but Mel. I've sniffed plenty of them, so I know what's going on with these <laughs> players, okay? Now, listen, all right, thank you for joining us. As you may know, you know, in years past, I, uh, I look at the Colts a little bit differently because that sack of shit, Bill Tobin, <laughs> came at me, questioned my credibility. I didn't like that. With all that being said, Big fan of your work. I think you're a draft guru. Uh, you're sitting at 21 tonight. You got the franchise quarterback in the offseason. What are we looking at doing tonight? Are we looking at left tackle? Are we maybe picking up another receiver for Carson? Are we maybe trading back, trading up, maybe getting an edge rusher? What is the move that you need to do to get the Colts back in that Super Bowl contention? Hey, tell us your plans. We want to hear them. Great, Mad Mel. I mean, you're the expert. Oh, true. You're the guy that's oh. got all the answers. True. I mean, why do I have to tell you what our plans oh. is and all I have to do is oh. tune into you oh, yeah. and you're going to tell us what to do? Yeah, that's right, Mel. Well, I got you slotted, taking a receiver. Like I said, I think we need to get Carson another weapon. I think it's about time. <laughs> if you're not going to go after Julio, maybe get one of these uh, hot shot wide receivers, maybe take you guys over the edge. <laughs> well, I, well, Mad Mel, you will make the city of Indianapolis very happy if we if you slot a wide out in with us Dude, tonight. hey. Great band, very nice to me. Very nice to me. And they have ping pong backstage, which I love. I love that about Kings of Leon. They're good folks. Listen, I love the Kings of Leon. You know, sex is on fire, all the all the other great stuff. I mean, the, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's here. Can't we get fucking Kiss and Gene wow, Simmons whoa, on stage or something? Whoa, I mean, what, whoa. The, what the hell are these guys doing? Whoa. And I love these guys. I do. But I mean, shit, the doors, are they still around? Can't we get something like that? Yeah. Or, I, think, are. I think doors are dead. Whoa. Jim Morrison's dead? Are they? <laughs> There's 105,000 105, people that just got either uh, a wrong answer or a right answer. I have no idea. Oh, I'm, I'm pumped that this thing's getting started.
Andrew Luck leaves, basically. And then that guy after, who was that stud, who was like Andrew Luck, but he wasn't uh, Andrew Kevin Luck. Kevin Hogan. That, oh, yep. Mad Mel. Nice. One of my favorite quarterbacks of all time. What, the fifth round, I believe, maybe sixth round. I thought he was a first-round talent. Had a first-round grade on him. <laughs> okay. Kevin Hogan was unbelievable. He was, but after him, it feels like the team kind of – <laughs> we got to call a game out there, Mad Mel. Thank you for that fact check. Unbelievable Rolodex in that brain of yours, Mad Mel. Especially with all the other toxic shit you got to keep in there at all times. But – Oh, he was on. No, he wasn't on the cover. That was that other big white. What was that other big white from Cleveland? Peyton Hillis. Oh, Jesus, Mad Mel. Let's no. go, dude. Let's go. He was a good football player. He was. He was on the cover of Madden or whatever. Yeah, that pretty much ended his career being on the cover. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was damn good, though. Uh, I wonder how Zach feels about that. Like, it is understood at this point. Like, yeah, your situation is fucking terrible over there, pal. Well, you know, you look at his moxie. I assume he's the kind of kid who thinks he can go in, maybe take him to the playoffs. I mean, he's, he, you know, he wants to be the big swinging dick in New York City. <laughs> hey, Mad Mel, Mad Mel, <laughs> when you seen him roll left, do that little foot. Yep, what did you do? Instantly came in my pants, Pat. <laughs> instantly. <laughs> uh, Needed fresh underwear right away. Oh, man, 110, 113,000 people. Uh, there's a free Josh Gordon sign in the background <laughs> of the uh, NFL Network's coverage here. He made an appearance in the uh, the uh, Super Football League. Oh, yeah, scored a touchdown. Well, was a game winner. He went up yeah. and lost somebody. Oh, fan crazy football with Johnny Mansell. There yep. it is. Yep. There it is. That'll be back. Oh, yeah. I doubt it, but, hey, good luck. Oh. Hey, I enjoyed that, though, you know? Did I enjoyed, you? Yeah. I, I did not watch a single game, but I seen the highlights. I like that I could judge something in the football world when it was happening. I don't think it's going to succeed, which is a shame. That is a shame mm -hmm. because our guy Beast Mode was involved with that. For sure. And remember, he was going to rush for 200 in that little thing, and then he did not step foot on that field. Just like Johnny, when he saw that ball going, was like, I ain't blowing out my shit to get this ball in this thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, if it's going to be Mickey Mouse, I'd rather All just right. go out in my own backyard with a Nerf football and throw it around with the pals. You know, I don't need to be the watching pals. it on Twitch or anything like that. So, I mean, but hey, if you love fan craze football, God bless you. <laughs> We've been talking about this for five months. And nobody knew Trey Lance was going to be the number three overall pick until this morning. That's insane. That is why we got to remember next draft cycle, everything's bullshit. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> everything's bullshit, Mel. Well, you look at uh, Trey Lance, and obviously all the physical attributes are there. Big guy, laser rocket arm, can run the football. The uh, the only red flag we saw coming through the process is, you know, you go to the rough and tumble NFL, but you're not going to be playing the school for the deaf and the blind okay. every week like uh, he was in college. Uh, you know, a uh, little bit of issue there. But, okay. again, this guy's a gamer absolutely loves football what a steal by san francisco I, I have a surprise obviously that's what this show is all about uh we have boots on the ground in cleveland who i assume knew this was going to happen what? all along ladies and gentlemen live from cleveland mr jason glazer your thoughts on kyle pitts to atlanta fine sir Oh, there's a delay. Well, uh, first and foremost, Pat, I'd like to say, hey, listen, thanks for having me. Cleveland is beautiful this time of year. Granted, it does smell like a mixture of poop and diarrhea and sewage. Jesus. Uh, it doesn't smell great down Jesus. here. Jesus. But I'll tell you what, 27 years in this thing, I fucking live for the draft. Love being down here. Love being in the Cleveland. Uh, but yeah, Kyle Pitts, listen. What do you want me to say? I knew this two weeks ago. Really? I mean, do we need to do this whole fucking song and dance? Okay. I'll give you guys one through 32 if you, if you want to know. You know, do you want to have fun? That's nice. You want to not know who's going. Uh, but yeah, I had this two weeks ago. You know what I'm wondering is if the guy you had in your studio, Mad Mel Kuyper, I know that sorry son Whoa. of a bitch Whoa. didn't have this Whoa. two weeks ago. Mike's not, did Mike's you, not plugged in. Whoa. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh, I actually just explained no, it. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, yes, I did. No, I had this. I did. Yeah, no, I did. no, you didn't. I, did. you I had this. I, I had you it. Did. Trust me. Can you I did. talk for Christ's sake? Okay, fine. Fine, yeah. Can Go I ahead. talk? Okay, yeah. Like Jesus. I said, Kyle Pitts, unbelievable no, talent. No, you didn't. You didn't fucking yes, have I did. You didn't. 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 Jason, please relax. Oh, my God. Jeez. had no idea it was going to get like that. Sorry about that, Mad Mel. Obviously, there's a little bit of uh, content there. He's saying you don't know your ass for a fucking hole in the ground, though, Mad Mel. Oh. How do you feel about that from Jason Glazer live in Cleveland? Well, classic move. You know, Glazer looks like he's getting ready to go to a goddamn titty bar or something like that. I mean, dress up, pal. It's the NFL draft. Look at me. I'm dressed to the nines. You know, you look like an asshole. I mean, eh, just eh, get him out of here, can we? I mean, is he, is he going to stick around? Can we get him the hell out of here? I think is his uh, microphone's still 
still on. Jay, can you hear us? Jay, is everything good back there? Listen, fuck you guys. I'm out of here. I'm I'm going over to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I'm going to hang out with Dee Snyder and Twisted Sister. Are you serious? Okay, Jason, sorry. Thank you so much. And ladies and gentlemen, Jason Glazer. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, why, uh, Mad Mel, I'm surprised you didn't go after uh, Jay Glazer because his mic was not plugged in and he was wearing a lav. I'm not sure exactly what the situation oh. was, but I thought you would get it. We that. did hear you say that. And uh, since he was our draft correspondent, we're the ones that set him up for the Zito production. And why do you got to kayfabe everything, dude? Uh, did you know that? I don't know what that means. Dr- yeah, oh, do. Bob Barker's long ass microphone. It was fake. It was fake. There was a. There was a. It there was, was plugged a, in. It had a cord at least. No, it was fake. They actually had just a little thing that he spoke into right here. Mm-hmm. You know, a, a lot of those things. It's all fake. It's all fake. And I, we had to do that for Jay Glazer because he did want that. Or Jason Glazer, he wanted the handheld. But also the thing. I am so sorry, Mad Mel. Though I did not know that was going to happen. Maybe we should think about having draft draft experts on at the same time. That's crazy. We were able to accomplish that. To be honest. I mean, it's okay. There's nothing you can do about it, Pat. Listen, me and Jason Glazer go all the way back. He's, he, you know, he's sour because guess what? What? My uh, my big board is is you know pretty much about as good as you get every single year. He doesn't yeah. know what the hell he's talking about. Yeah. I'm more uh, concerned with once again AJ's being a fucking asshole. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He <laughs> shot down. Did he not just shoot down the production immediately upon the video starting? He did. Uh, hey, Rick, it's not plugged in. Have you thought about the guys working, his producers back there? I mean, basically, he just took a shit on their foreheads. How do you think they feel? How that, do you think their family feels? That's who that feel? was. Mitt. That was Mitt. Oh, jeez. Mitt. Mitt is with him in Cleveland, and now we. Wasted trip. We only yeah. got one hit because it obviously exploded. But aside from that, Mitt did a great job setting Fantastic. that thing up. Thank you, Mitt. Thank you did you, an Matt. incredible Atta job, boy, man. Safe travels back, Mitt. Piper, your thoughts immediately upon hearing about this. Very happy for Chicago. Justin Fields was my number two rated quarterback this entire time. Didn't really know why he was slipping. Maybe it was because, you know, Dan Orlovsky was saying Whoa. he wasn't very good. I don't know. I'm Whoa. not saying that. He is my Whoa. colleague. But Whoa. I am very excited to see what Justin Fields is able to do. Uh, I'm v- really looking forward to how he performs in year two under a new coach and new GM because those guys are still getting shit canned next oh, year. Okay, okay. Uh, so, <laughs> hey, you know, hats off to the Bears. This is the kind of play they needed to do. But, you know, you really got to feel bad for Andy Dalton. They dangle a carrot in front of him. Hey, you're going to start. You're going to start. Boom! You're sitting on the bench. We drafted your replacement. Sorry, Andy. Hey. Denzel Washington was killing everybody. He was on the hood of a car, actually, when he told him this. Yep. It's a man on fire. Yep. There John Creasy. That's his name in it. Says uh, <laughs> he's about to paint his masterpiece, and his masterpiece is death. So right now, Mad Mel, I mean, <laughs> the Rolodex of things that you have answered is unbelievable. And I don't know if this type of brain activity can carry over to good old Ty Schmidt, maybe, but it will be unbelievable if that's the case. What you have done tonight has been a performance. Aaron Rodgers is still a Green Bay Packer, though. That has to be good news if you're Mad Mel Kuyper. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's kind of nice because at this point, I don't really give a shit what the Packers do. You know, I mean, they're going to lose Rodgers. They might lose me. So who gives a fuck? You know, I, hey, maybe they'll draft fucking David Baker with their pick. I'd be jacked <laughs> about that. But I mean, outside of that, Jesus Christ, who cares? Mad Mel Kuyper. Uh, everybody knew Dallas was going to go defense. When Sertain and uh, J.C. Horn go off the board, uh, not in that particular order, everybody's like, Cowboys are fucked. They trade out somehow, still get a pick. They go defense. Micah Parsons, this feels like a good move for them, huh, Mad Mel? Yeah. Are the Dallas Cowboys ever going to win more than eight and a half games with this type of move, you think? Absolutely great pick. Uh, you know, AJ said it, very versatile. Uh, sideline to sideline defender, can play all three linebacker positions. Reminds me a lot of AJ Hawk. Uh, really? Wow. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. He's, he's a ball hawk, always around the ball, always making plays. He does have one red flag. He does oh, tend geez. to like to do the flag squirrel, the locker room, right. shake his penis around, <laughs> right, sometimes right, right. places it on teammates' <laughs> shoulders, <laughs> maybe in or around their mouth. So, <laughs> you know, all right, slay that and then allegedly, what? Mad Mel. What did you that that's all, What are you talking about? Yeah, it, 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 came, it came up in my research. I'm not the one reporting it. I, I, you know, it I is did on the internet. It. it is on the internet. Okay. He may, you know, like put his penis in and around Stop. Got teammates' Stop. faces. But <laughs> Stop. That could he does be not a red line. That. Stop. Jeez Louise, dude. But we don't know if that's right. real, Matt. We no. don't know if that's true. I'm just saying, hey, it, I, I'm just reporting what I've seen. you got to put it out there. It is a potential red flag. I'm not saying it's the, you know, I'm not saying it's the end all be all. Really, he does. Or the Patriots back. What a fucking nightmare for the rest of the NFL if this is exactly what Bill Belichick wanted at Mel, Mad Mel Kuyper. I feel bad for Justin Fields. 
I mean, shit, you know, he's thinking, hey, maybe I'll slip down to New England. It'll be awesome. I'll be, you know, maybe contended for a Super Bowl right away. Instead, he gets stuck in Chicago. He's going to have new coaches next year. Mac Jones, shit. He might might win a couple Super Bowls within the next, I don't know, five, six years. I immediately think like, oh, okay, yeah, this guy is, he's going to be a good quarterback, even though we had no idea he really was going to be the guy until just about three, four months ago. I don't think so, because I think you look at a guy like Trey Lance and you get really uh, infatuated with the physical attributes. You know, you think, hey, this guy's going to be a weapon with his feet. He's going to be a weapon with his arm. But you got Mac Jones. Who? If he throws on time, he's unbelievable. He's got good protection up front. You did already miss it. Uh, But, you know, I mean, shit. I don't think I don't think San Francisco's uh, you know double second guessing what they did. I mean I think they're happy with Trey Lance, Mac Jones. You know he's got a Ooh. bad body. He's kind of fat hey. a little bit. It looks like it, but I mean we'll see. <laughs> I don't know. Like he may thrive in New England. Hey, by the way, he does have <laughs> classic quarterback body. Yeah. I have no idea what the Raiders are doing, but they're in Patrick Mahomes' division. I think they beat him last year. They're going to have to do a lot of that. Absolutely love the Alex Leatherwood pick. You know, it reminds me a lot of uh, up top. He's kind of like big black. He's got the 22-inch guns down low. He's got a massive, massive dumper uh, a la Lisa Ann. This guy's powerful. He's going to drive. He's going to grind people into the dirt. But as we know with John Gruden, there is also a chance in two years he gets tired of the guy, says, fuck it, don't want him anymore, trades him out of town. So Hopefully, Alex Leatherwood can be that cornerstone left tackle that the Raiders are going to need for the future. Mad Mel, thank you for breaking that down. And that is true. That has been said about John Gruden. Um, JJ, yeah. uh, we have one final question here from Mad Mel Kuyper. And I assume you knew something about this was maybe coming, but... Mad Mel Kuyper, uh, please speak to uh, J.J. Watt, please. Yeah, J.J., thanks for joining us, but we do have to know, uh, and maybe it's just water under the bridge at this point, but how awkward was it in the locker room last year after you broke Bill uh, O'Brien's nose in that practice? (laughs) Obviously, everyone knows you swung on him. You took a big shot at him, probably knocked him on his ass. How awkward was it in the locker room afterwards, or were your teammates pretty jacked up that you flattened his ass? (sighs) J.J., that was... (laughs) Hey, that was a wild time to be a daily show. When you were punching the head coach of a team, that was a wild time, JJ. I assume your life was also pretty wild at that time. Guy started as a true freshman. He's a player. Well, yeah, like it could be could be a tackle, could be a receiver. A couple good receivers left on the board still. Who's that, Mad Mel? Uh, fuck, what's his name? The kid from Ole Miss. Shit, I don't know. My heart Elijah feels- Moore. Elijah Moore. Yeah. Ba- my, yeah. I'll be honest Bateman's with you guys. I haven't had a Red Bull in a really long time. This is my second big boy that I've drank today. My, I feel like my <laughs> fucking heart's going to explode. <laughs> uh-huh. Appreciate your service. Got oh. five-hour energy on yeah. top of it. Not smart. <laughs> yes, I got, that's what I'm saying. I need a juice, though. Needed the fucking juice. <laughs> it's been a long day. Not a lot of sleep last night either because no. it was <laughs> draft spectacular yeah. day. My chest <laughs> fucking kills right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Mad Mel, we hope you survive. <laughs> so do I. If Chris Boward likes him, so do I. Mad Mel Kuyper, go ahead. Quiddy Pie, a very explosive talent off the edge. Didn't have that, that much production at Michigan, but you don't really hold it against him because Michigan fucking sucks. So you think that his production should go up in the NFL if he's got another weapon on the other side. I like this pick for Chris Boward of the Colts. Mad Mel, Travis Etienne, Najee Harris, your thoughts? Absolutely explosive player, real three down back. And the other thing you got to love about Najee Harris is if Ben Roethlisberger does find his Brazzers password somewhere, he's a great <laughs> pass catcher out of the backfield. If he needs to dump it down, if he gets a little tennis elbow, jerking his baloney too much, you know that <laughs> Najee Harris is going to be there waiting in the wings, catch a ball, <laughs> take it upfield with power and ferocity. Yeah, you're damn right. You are damn <laughs> right, Mad Mel. Thank you for that deep take there. You think you think that NFL Live crew over there at Marble Room are going to be able to survive? What was that? Pick one or two, and Orlovsky was at three bottles deep of wine. Yeah, they're already boozing. There's no chance they survive. There's no chance tomorrow. I can't wait to watch NFL Live tomorrow. I, I saw a little production meeting, and they were, hey, they were litty over there. They mm-hmm. better fucking Uber back to the hotel, too. You know, I'd hate it if Orlovsky got a DUI or Jesus. something tonight like, because yeah. he's going to drink you 10 like... bottles of wine. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying be what responsible is, out real. there. What is your problem, dude? <laughs> well, I'm just saying be responsible out there. Dan Orlovsky's Dan. responsible. You, Dan. We love you, Dan. Call I'll... an Uber. Get an Uber. Don't drive. Lift. Or walk if you can. Oh, it might be better. A lot of calls. Has anybody guessed a sandwich yet, you think? Have you have you been keeping up with it? Do you know what sandwich Well, so that's what's interesting is I did put a sandwich order in. So uh, whatever Z got for me is just, I'm going to have to like it. <laughs> Hopefully there's no mayo on it. <laughs> is, is, 
Did you get mayo or tomato on this thing, Zeke? Because I won't eat the fucking thing. No, no, no. <laughs> you have to eat something. I'll eat it. I'll eat it. You, you don't like mayo? You're not you're I fucking hate mayo. I mean, How? If I'm, if I'm starving, I will eat the mayo. But if I'm not, fucking get it away from me. You hate mayo? <laughs> hate mayo, hate ketchup, don't want anything to fucking Are you them. kidding me, dude? No, the shit stinks. No, it's because Red Gold was around out there in Iowa. If you had Heinz, uh, I'm a, I'm a, if you had Heinz, no. you wouldn't eat ketchup. This don't you? Don't you dare! I never had a fucking Red Gold bottle in my house ever. <laughs> ever. Okay. How about whipped cream? Well, you know, a lot of people have Bumped said that I, I love the whippets, but hey, I, that, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Okay, I'm not. That's bullshit. All right, I eat pumpkin pie every fucking morning. Doesn't matter what season. Doesn't matter what day. Right. I eat pumpkin pie 365 days a year. I'm not fucking doing whippets. Right, okay, so, get off my back. Hey, now I don't know what's real and what is it. You know what I mean? Now, no, I, now I don't know what's real and what is it. Do you hate? Man- no, yeah, I legit do not like mayo or ketchup who this person is, what would you say about Rashad Bateman as a, a ball player? Say so very explosive, can play in the slot a little bit better on the outside, great production at Minnesota. One of the things I'm most excited to see is him get away from that fucking snake oil salesman Jesus. in Minnesota, get a coach who actually Jesus. is going to get the most out of him. Hey, Harbaugh's a great coach. I think he's going to fit in very well in Baltimore. Matt, Mel, listen, there's no need for that. Okay. What do you mean? PJ had the Farmers Alliance, remember? Oh yeah. He, he, PJ had that Farmers Alliance, and I, anybody on our show that should have appreciated and respected that, it should have been you over there in Iowa with the Farmers Alliance. Your neighbor's farm is just as important as your farm. Get be- the fuck out of here okay. with that. A and F America needs farmers. Every Iowan knows what that's about. We don't need this fucking Farmers Alliance bullshit. I've never heard of that. <laughs> His neighbor's farm had bodies buried underneath it. So. True. Oh, they yeah, don't care. Right. John Wayne Gacy. He didn't live on a farm. <laughs> he ran an Arby. Yeah. Well, KFC. KFC. And he lived in a rural neighborhood, okay? He lived, you know, nice little neighborhood. Uh, the, the Green Bay Packers pick is in. Here we are. Here oh. we are. 29th overall pick. The pick is in. Chance to get a weapon. What are we doing? Who, who, who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest. I don't fucking care at all. Wow. Have you just completely lost up because you have the mindset that Aaron Rodgers is not He's gone. Be- He's gone. They hey, are. It was nice knowing you. Hey, the headlines are saying, like, he told him, I ain't going back. So we're done with it. That's crazy if that's where it's at right now. I mean, AJ is going to be dependent upon maybe getting some information this weekend on that whole thing to clear it up a little bit more. But if that's what's going on, I don't know how you're going to get past it. And he holds all the cards. Guy does everything for a reason. I mean, there's no fucking coincidence. He said that today. That stuff came out today on the day of the draft. You know, I mean, he's still fucking pissed off, rightfully so. Who gives a shit? Here you go, Packers. <laughs> Still going. <laughs> the Packers uh, did oh. not take a weapon. They grabbed a cornerback, oh. Eric Stokes. <laughs> okay, here we go. So just like everybody had hoped, including Aaron Rodgers, I assume, with the 29th overall pick, the Cleveland or nope, the Green Bay Packers, Cleveland. potentially the future Cleveland of the NFL. <laughs> Selecting cornerback Eric Stokes. So Aaron Rodgers is still a Green Bay Packer. Now there is a corner who is a Georgia Bulldog Ooh. coming in to Green Bay to help out that defense. Here we go now, yeah. huh? Here we go, Mad Bell. Now we're talking. Now we're playing the game. I fucking love Stokesy. Okay, don't get me wrong. Uh, but again, I don't give a fuck. Who cares? Rodgers is. I mean, even if they would have drafted a wide receiver, it would have been like some guy fucking banging some floozy and then apologizing to his wife by giving her a $5 Starbucks gift card. Nothing they can do at this point is going to fucking matter. They lost him. It's over. Uh, oh, he runs a blazing 4 2 40 time. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Thanks, Dove. <laughs> I don't. Who gives a shit? I just want to eat. Zito, did we get that food order in? Yeah, that's that's why. Five minutes out. Perfect. And you know what? Great pick. I love Stokesy. <laughs> love the guy. This is awesome. Uh, the Green Bay Packers are trying to shore up a defense so they yeah. can make a Super Bowl run here. But it does feel like the team that you own 
well, sorry, Matt. Yeah, Matt Mel owns mm -hmm. have, have dropped the ball with this. And this could be gloom and doom in the future. And Stokesy has no idea he's potentially going into a firestorm. Over. I mean, I guess if you think about it, it does make sense. You know, you got a, a fucking once in a generation quarterback coming off an MVP season. So why don't you just, you know, spit in his face, kick him in the nuts and then fucking kick him to the curb? I mean, that make that does make the most sense uh, if you love the guy behind him. Again, you know what? I'm, I'm just expecting Rodgers to be gone. I've, you know, I mean, shit, you can't escape it. You've seen it all day i mean who gives a fuck uh, honestly i don't care whatever stokesy hope you're great pal you know go pack go go pack go, go. Who give, pack who go. Gives a fuck? are we are you guys just house in celsius's back here or what? how are you guys are you guys doing anything i mean mitch drunk nick sounds well, like he's having time of his life you guys ate honestly, some things though i guess that's the thing i mean you guys are pretty entertaining so i mean that's working for us Diggs, i don't need you to fucking pander okay this show is terrible Eighty-five thousand other people <laughs> just saw bill's little fucking molehead pop up on the screen <laughs> <laughs> hey Man, bill I, uh, i'm sorry Diggs. i'm sorry Diggs. but bill it is good to see you yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, bill you didn't deserve that i'm fucking bill. on edge i'm very hungry i got a headache i'm a bit, you know the packers stink <laughs> packers fucking stink hey great show guys that's what I hear Mel sing it. Was Mel singing? Yeah, yeah. He's what he, I was. He's hip. Dude. I was singing it. Yeah, go ahead and let that thing ride. Boat party, boat party, boat party, <laughs> boat party. You get it. <laughs>